Greetings. In this video, we're going to make uh, some simple measurements with an oscilloscope uh, that deal with uh, what happens when you have a phase angle between two um, signals. Uh, kind of like what's shown here to the right, where you have one signal and the second signal has the same frequency, but it's it's got a phase angle, phase difference. Um, to do this, we're going to use a an RC circuit and look at the signal going into the capacitor and the output signal going uh, from the potentiometer. Um, another fun thing that you can do with this, which you have two different signals that are slightly out of phase, if you combine them together in an XY plot, you get what they call uh, Lisa Joe's figures. And there's a lot of fun. Hopefully you, you watch those videos on Schoology that has a dude that does music using these different figures. Uh, I remember them first from uh, laser light shows um, that they would put light on a, on a surface and change the angles, the phase differences, and, and create these different figures. So it's neat stuff, real neat stuff. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, but there's a lot of other physics involved uh, dealing with the RC circuit that I'm going to skip and hopefully you'll just accept for now. So one of those is that the phase angle is the inverse tangent of the um, reactance or the resistance of the capacitor uh, to the resistor involved. So that's kind of like what's down here in this table. We're gonna have to fill all these things out. Um, so our circuit setup, going back to it over here, is a simple RC network with only one capacitor Here's our input. So um, if I'm looking carefully here on my breadboard, this is gonna be my input plus, and here's my input negative. So from the plus, it goes to one of the posts of the capacitor. The current will go through the capacitor. And here's another um, jumper cable that goes to one of the connections on the potentiometer and right next to it is the second connection. Now there's three different pins in the potentiometer. So um, if I use these first two, I'm not, I don't remember. I think if you go to the right, you increase the resistance. And if that's true, then if you use the second two, going to the right would decrease the resistance. So you just basically flip it. You don't want to have one on each end. So either the left side or the right side, the first two on the left, the first two on the, the first two on the right. And then from the, the potentiometer, back to the ground, back to negative on my breadboard, which basically is my negative for my, my source. And the source I'm going to use is going to be an old function generator, uh, which I have set to approximately 1000 uh, hertz and a sine wave. So to connect these together, so here I have connected these in to my oscilloscope. Um, first thing I want to do, though, is figure out what the capacitance value is and how to change the resistance. So to do that, I'm going to use a couple different wires to connect into the capacitor, into each side. So I've got one here on my right, a wire, and another wire here on the other side, and use a meter that's rated for capacitance. So this is supposed to be a 0.1 micro, so I'm gonna use this zero to two. And it doesn't really matter which post, because this is a uh, uh, non-polarized capacitor. So make sure I got the right post. Unplug the power supply, because you don't want to have any power going in, so I unplug the negative so that there's no signal going in. Uh, so 0.122 microfarads. So that's going to be 0.122 times 10 to the negative 6 microfarads. So again, I just sort of connected to each side of the capacitor. And now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So 0.122, away that goes. Now I want to use the same thing to figure out the resistance on my potentiometer. So I'm going to use two little, two little wires in the same place I have them connected. So if you take a quick look at it, 
same, hopefully I got the same two, yeah. And then use a meter that is set up for resistance. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go for 5,000. So I'm gonna use a zero to 20K. And let's see, let's connect this in. This shouldn't matter which probe is which. So let's see, da, 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 da. here, there. And the other one, where's the other one? 